Wolfpack 325 Pack 13 here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Very rare, full 13 foot garage on the back of this, 13 foot private garage. So, your big toys, they're gonna fit in here just fine. We've got this thing dressed up and pressed up pretty nicely. There's some optional stuff here, some things that uh, may not be on the next one. So the video is just kind of a generalization of what one of these might look like. Probably pretty similar to what we have in stock, but there's the outside potential that the next one might come in a little different. Um, if you're just on YouTube, look down here. If you like the looks of this thing as we go, if you like what you see or hear, there's, there's a link that says click for price and availability. That will show you what we have in stock, how it's equipped, and the asking price of that specific unit. So now that all that jumbo is done, let's get dug in here. This is a lot of trailer uh, for a very aggressive price tag. We've got true high gloss mirror-like finished sidewalls on this thing. Um, the uh, this That beautiful high gloss skin is just awesome. We have two patio awnings, power awnings with LED lighting. So you can, uh, even though you have the side in the middle here, you can kind of have a front rear different little patio set up going chairs in the back, table in the front, or however you want to do it. We've got, uh, these all come with a little propane quick connect, by the way, for your grill, if you're uh, the grill meister. We have uh, generator prep. That also includes the fueling station. That is a, uh, a dual feature option. One option with two features. The, gen uh, the fuel station in the back, generator prep up front. And if you don't need the generator, you still got storage. No big deal. Uh, the look of this thing. Man, the look. They do a good job. This is what I call, this is the, the working man's toy hauler, really. And what I mean by that, it's, it's all the stuff that really matters. And you can get fancy or jazz, but on toy haulers, for sure. But you're going to pay dearly for it. You're going to pay uh, to the tune of potentially tens of thousands of dollars more. We still have stuff that matters. Black tank flush, outside shower station, great looking aluminum wheels. We talked about that good looking skin package. You're going to be proud towing this down the road. It's going to look good. We still have the patio deck on the back here. We put the Happy Jack uh, bed and sofa lifts in the back of it. We've got a roll down screen wall for privacy and all that good stuff back here. So you can, and the way this is built, this could be a toy hauler. It could be a bunkhouse. It could be a second living room. It could be a three seasons room. It could be a, a, a party room, a guest room, an office. It has its own half bath back there. This is loaded. This is 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack, though that being said, it is a pretty big five pound sack, of course. Um, so the rear gate back here, you can see it's supported by those cables, no pesky pedestals. I don't really know, I think there's only one or two guys that still do that pedestal system. And that system is stupid. Do not buy a patio deck system with the pedestals. That is going to get somebody hurt because eventually it's going to fall. Um, the, uh, the rigid flood lighting back here, you know those big uh, bulky lights on the top of a 4x4 pickup that goes mudding? Um, those are rigid brand. Well, this has the same thing. Um, the uh, outside TV station here, you can add TVs to this and like one TV can be put on a mount that can be universally moved through the trailer. Let's say that the bedroom up front, the interior garage or bunk space, whatever you want to call it, outside uh, TV station here. Um, both entry doors, by the way, have nice triple steps. Uh, at a, when you start getting real aggressive on price points, you'll watch guys cut down to a double step on the back. And if you've got big mountain climber legs like mine, you know, I, I, can, I can hop up here. Not everybody can. Um, my wife is far more gravity friendly than I, and uh, I don't know that she'd want to climb up and down this thing all the time. The uh, doors, by the way, are a friction hinge door, so you can throw this thing. And notice it didn't slam into the sidewall. You can heave it, and it barely shuts. It's awesome. The uh, Happy Jack bed lift system here. Uh, so like I said, this can be sofas. This can be double beds. I'm getting really bad backlighting here. here let, me, let me come around from this direction. There we go. So we can have sofas. We can have a lower bed. We can have an upper bed. You can take these, uh, like the sofas out or the bed out independently if you just don't need them or want them there. Um, you can, uh, they, they ride all the way recessed up against the ceiling. Now these sofas, if you check out our photo tour on our website, they can kind of convert and do different things. Going down the road, they can be in the flat horizontal position for maximum load width. And this is a 102 inch wide body toy hauler, by the way. When you start watching or getting into uh, price sensitive toy haulers, you watch, you start running into some non wide body stuff. Be careful with that. Um, these can also, instead of riding horizontally, they can fold down against the wall for transit to give you max load height. 
So if you've got a, uh, a big golf cart, a Razor or something like that, they can fit in here. And with a 13 foot garage, uh, pretty much anything can fit in here. This is a, uh, a tongue groove, extra thick plywood floor deck. So it's got incredible strength. Look at just the sheer, just imagine, look at all these D-rings. They are so many D-rings in here. I think there's like 15 or some silly number. Um, all of these, they say 2,500 pound rated, and you can thank the bean counters and lawyers for that. But uh, what it is, is this is drilled stra uh, straight into the floor, but after they tap the screw holes, they actually pump the screw hole with a glue called Cicaflex, which is the same stuff that holds the windshield in your car. It is virtually indestructible, and uh, that is what holds the, the D-ring mount down. Well, when they pull tested them, they got up to 3,300 pounds. When the ring failed, the floor never buckled in the slightest. The screws, nothing ever gave. So this is incredibly strong. And with 15 of them, I don't care what you have. You can strap it down. It ain't going nowhere. Um, moving inside here, even in the garage area, we have tons of LED lights. And uh, I don't have them on right now back here because we don't need them back here because we have a giant garage door wide open. But they show you right where all the switches are. So if it's dark, you know, when this whole thing's closed up, these blackout nightshades, um, I have this just kind of hanging down. Normally this would, you know, it would cover that window. And they are blackout shades, guys. Um, it is pitch black in here. It can be pitch black in this area. Well, you need to know where your light switches are, so they backlight those so you can see exactly where we're at. You know, and you can see that even standing back here with a door open, the difference all these lights make. Lights and windows are not cheap. That's a big deal. You can throw a big flat screen against the wall up here. I bet a 40 inch would look real good up there. Uh, privacy curtain for your big patio door, and that, that is a nice thing. You have private doors. You can leave your toys loaded in your toy hauler and uh, not have to leave them outside. Again, we have a second half bath over here. Uh, with a foot flush stool, by the way, so you don't need your face near your business. Now, everywhere that you see a countertop in this is going to be a pressed membrane countertop. It is waterproof. So when you're splashing water on the sink, or if you leave that window open and there's humidity, it won't cause the sink to swell and get mold spores in it and all that awful crap. We like to build these with the bigger uh, dinette drawers in here. This is the same type of material your floor is made of. Big, thick, 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood. Heavy duty stuff because though this does not have the biggest price tag in the business, they do want it to be something that you can still be proud of. Let me shed some light on the situation. Uh, this is actually, again, if it's dark, you can still see your switches and they do glow pretty brightly. Speaking of glowing brightly, we have all kinds of LED accent lights going on in here above both slides as well as that uh, ceiling fixture right there. And at night, that is the perfect glowing night light because uh, against a white ceiling, it'll make the whole room glow just enough. You can see your way through it, no problem. And then, of course, we have more of those one-switch lights. And man, they are not shy about putting a bunch of those in here. Uh, we have a wraparound loft. So that's actually two bunks and one up there. Now, if you don't need it for bunk space, guess what? You have an attic. You have a big attic up here where you can just throw all your totes and stuff and get it out of the way. But there are power outlets and stuff up there so kids or guests can plug their phones and CPAPs and chargers and all that stuff. Hopefully your kid doesn't need a CPAP machine. Oh, that's kind of a disturbing thought now I say it. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, we'll come back to this in a second. I love the Faux Stone Entertainment System here. It just looks really good. At the time of this filming, we do not generally include TVs in the base price of our wolf packs. We can always go aftermarket and get you one. The reason being, we found that you can get a better quality television for less money across the street at Walmart or Target. So it doesn't make sense to get one from the factory. We, I mean, we manage every nut, bolt, and widget in these things to give you guys good deals. Uh, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. Uh, mm, you know what? I just... I do, yes, that is Bluetooth. I'm sorry, it took me a minute. I've looked at too many stereos today. It pretty much does anything and everything. Um, the uh, ladder here to get you the loft bunk, obviously. Now, uh, I mean, the slides. Nor what's nice about toy haulers is you can have really tall slides in here. And that means that we can have a big dinette and big windows. And I like how they made all the windows just the biggest they really could to give you lots of light in here. Um, all of the windows in the slide have these nice uh, wooden plantation blinds. They're really rugged. And that's what I like. If you got somebody who's sitting here and they lean back to arch their back and they hit these, it's not, there's no, no big deal. Who cares? It's not going to break. It's not going to get messed up like a mini blind that'll bend up and twist up or a pleated nightshade where you can snap strings. This just is so much easier. It's, it's one of the most expensive types of blinds in the industry. It's also uh, one of the best. Um, 
kitchen over here. This kitchen is just fantastic. Uh, the Again, more of that faux stone look to give it that nice uh, down-to-earth feel. And that's actually one of the things I've always liked about Wolf Packs. This does not have that motocross extreme monster truck rally look about it. It just looks like a camper. And that's what I like about it. So we've got a big pantry over here, and if you didn't open that door, you would not realize how much pantry space they have. And to avoid problems with the cargo shift, they even put a little lip on that drawer or shelf right there so that the cargo doesn't fall down in the cabinet before you ever get it open. Um, overhead storage up here in the slide. The slides are so tall, they said, hey, let's just put crazy amounts of storage in this thing everywhere that we can. Camera is trying to focus. There we go. Um, so... Because it's so tall, they didn't want to put a microwave eight foot up in the air so that you could, you know, um, spill boiling soup on yourself and hurt yourself. They didn't worry. They didn't do any of that. Um, instead, they killed the stove because nobody uses the stove in these things. And if you're the one that does, I'm sorry, you are the exception to the rule. They put the microwave down here and made it a convection. So a lot like a motorhome, we have a convection microwave oven um, with a common stove above. But they recessed the stove top and gave you a, a tempered glass cover that's really rugged so you can have more counter space. And hey, why not add some appliance outlets while we're at it? Uh, speaking of appliance outlets, check that out over here. And uh, once again, just cool, just little awesome touches. I love all that little stuff. Um, again, perfect spot. Oh, that's your coffee maker right there. That's exactly what that is. Um, around the corner here, this is a, that's a larger eight cubic foot fridge. That's nice. But if you don't come around the corner here to look at all the extra storage space you have built into this uh, big peninsula style countertop, you're not doing yourself a favor. Now, this same heavy duty countertop you've seen everywhere else, that's the same type of material they build the sink cover out of. And this is legit. You can actually use that like counter space. So you got big heavy groceries, come in, slap your helmet down. It's not gonna buckle because it's not the cheap crappy little one. Moving forward, so like I said, they spend the money where it counts. That's what a wolf pack is. The money is spent where it counts. Easy triple step going upstairs. We have a dual entry bathroom. You see you can get to it from the bedroom or the hallway here. I'm actually gonna close that so we can get a little better look here. Pardon me, there we go. So we have a big wide open bathroom. Lots of space in here. Uh, you can actually get out, you can get dressed. For linen space, uh, this being a member of the Cherokee family, they have the largest medicine cabinets in their class. It's so big, you can easily use it. Uh, linen space, you just kind of tuck your towels up in there a little bit differently. Foot flush stool, again. Another big giant medicine cabinet over here. More of that waterproof countertop space because what are we doing? We're splashing water everywhere. We have an adult sized sink. Thank you Wolfpack for giving an adult a sink they can actually wash their hands in. Uh, these are taller showers. And in case in point, 6'3 with shoes on plus a hat and my head's still clearing everything except I just smacked my head against that. Oh God, I do that all the time. Um, if uh, you're a person that works at another dealership watching this, you're probably laughing right now. And I know that you watch my videos because I have customers come in and say, Hey, I saw one of your videos at another dealership, but since you did the video, I'm going to buy it from you. So thanks for showing our videos to other people, guys. You're doing a great job for us. Appreciate it. Right when you walk in the bedroom, one switch, bang. Again, one switch, convenient lighting, just like you have at home. You know what you don't typically get? in a budget focused uh, fifth wheel toy hauler. One switch lighting in the bedroom like that. Because this is wide body, you have three inches of uh, additional space on both sides of the bed. That is the difference between being able to just walk around the bed, and this is a true walk-in bedroom, or doing the travel trailer shuffle, guys. You don't have to do that here. Uh, you can throw a TV in the corner of that wall if you want to. This is 50 amp service wired. Uh, what that means, you can add a second air conditioner to one of these if it does not already have one included from the factory, like the one we're looking at here. So, I think we pretty much got it. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hail at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.